Hi, welcome back. Uh, tonight I'm going to make smoked haddock fish cakes. Um, really nice meal to make and really simple to do. Um, cooking for three people tonight. Um, so usually this will either make four big fish cakes or in this case it will make six slightly smaller fish cakes. And then I'm going to do a wee bit of stir fried veg with it as well. Um, but I've already shown you how to do that. Um, so we're just going to do the fish cakes tonight. So what you need is um, a couple of smoked uh, fish fillets. I'm using haddock. You can use whatever you want. I know there's cod and you can also get the Vietnamese cobbler which is actually quite nice. Uh, you need three or four potatoes depending on what size they are. Um, some milk and a couple of slices of bread and that's it. Um, so to start off what you need to do is uh, take a uh, baking tray, a fairly deep one, and you want to put the two fish fillets in the tray with a little bit of milk kind of like a milk bath and then put them in the oven and the oven's preheated to 180 degrees celsius um, and um, when you put the fish in the oven put the potatoes into a pot with some uh, boiling water and cook the two of them for about 10 minutes um, so I'm going to do the prep, I'm going to chop up the potatoes, get the fish ready and then um, I'll show you exactly what I mean by a milk bath um, and then put the stuff in the cook Right, that's, that's the prep done, literally took a minute or two. Um, so potatoes, you just want kind of that sort of size that will cook in 10 minutes. And then the fish, you can see it's just in enough milk to cover the bottom of the tray. So that stops it um, sticking. And it also means some of the smoky flavour goes into the milk. And then we'll use the milk to mash the potato. Um, so you can't get the smoky flavour through everything. This doesn't get covered, it just goes in the oven like this for about 10 minutes. Um, and the potatoes, like I say, go in a, go in a decent size pot half filled with water, put the lid on, boil them for 10 minutes as well and then once that's ready we'll let it cool down a wee bit and then mash the potato, uh, kind of chop up the fish and then mix it all together um, and I'll show you how to make the actual fish cakes. Alright, uh, 10 minutes has passed so potatoes are cooked, um, let's do a good old test for the potatoes, stick a knife in it, uh, if the knife goes through without any resistance then the potatoes are cooked. You see the fish here has uh, cooked in the milk, so what we're going to do is just take a little bit of the milk, which has got all the nice smoky flavour from the fish, and just put a few spoons into the potato. Not too much because you don't want the potato to get too uh, sticky and wet. And then a good dollop of butter, because all good mashed potato has a good dollop of butter. Right, a uh, wee bit of salt and pepper in that and mash it up until you get a nice creamy mash. You can see I've left the skins on, you can take the skins off if you want before you cook them, but I quite like the skins so it's entirely up to you. Uh, and take the fish out the milk and just put it on a tray so it cools down because when we mix these two things basically you're going to be sticking your hands in to mix it all up and if it's boiling hot that's not going to work too well. So we need this to just cool down a little bit um, before we start actually making the, the fish cakes. Um, so I'll get the mash made and I'll get the fish cooled down and then we'll move on to making the fish cake. Okay, um, so what I've done is I've flaked up the fish and mixed it in with the potato in the pot. It's cooled down enough now that I can actually work with it. Um, I've blitzed two slices of bread with some salt and pepper and I have uh, greased another bacon tray. Um, so this is the fun bit, this is where you just uh, get your hands dirty pretty much. Uh, you, you could measure this and make it six equal fish cakes if you want, but I just roughly um, roughly take a spoonful. Um, and if your mixture's not too wet and not too hot, then you can just shape it in your hand like that, like a, if you ever made kind of beef patties before. Try and get it in kind of even thickness, maybe a centimetre or a centimetre and a half thick. And then all you do is drop it in the breadcrumbs. Turn it over and then roughly cover it and then put it on the tray and that's a fish cake. So I'll make six of these, uh, it goes into the oven, the oven's still on at 180 so it goes into the oven for another 20 minutes and then uh, that's it cooked. Um, so I'll make the rest of these, I'll put them in the oven and then I'll show you them uh, when they're done. Okay so there you go, um, but homemade 
fish cakes with some stir fried veg. You can see there's uh, more than enough for three people here. Um, and it's only taken just over half an hour to make those fish cakes from scratch. Um, so I'll put the costs up on the video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, subscribe um, to get more videos. Cheers. Bye.